All right, so here we are at the front of one of my favorite supermarkets in the UK, Sainsbury's. I'm gonna show you how to eat vegan here. All right, so obviously this is the fruits and vegetables section, and we know pretty well know that everything here is vegan. Berries, strawberries, apples. Let's go down here. Bananas, grapes, greens. If you don't, if you don't know fruits and vegetables are vegan, I don't know what to tell you. You should know that. So like over here is the life where we just were and just a few steps over here. This was hacked off of an animal that was gas chambered and stabbed in the neck. This is a whole, a whole bird. It's been hung up by their legs and electrocuted and slashed across the throat. Um, this is a piece of an individual, the blood's still here. You know, people are completely disconnected from the animal here. Look, it's just a picture of some beef on a plate. Um, a turkey, turkeys are beautiful animals. This one here has been dismembered and hacked up into pieces. Uh, same with uh, salmon. This fish dragged out the ocean, suffocated, stabbed in the throat, hacked up into pieces, and RSPCA approved, murder. This one actually has a picture of a pig on there. Taste the difference. British bacon, yeah. RSPCA assured. What are you assuring me of? That this is a murdered animal that wanted to live? Not assuring me of much. Sick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where the non-death section is, the vegan section, let's go. Oh, they got all these as well, what's this? Oh, this has got cow's milk, so that's no good. But look at this. Love your veg. Lentil cottage pie, vegan. Sweet potato katsu curry with sticky rice. That looks amazing. Good work, Sainsbury's. Check it out. Ooh. Ah, oh, no. Fit kitchen. Uh, no thanks, we don't want a murdered bird with our food. All right, here we go. This is where it's at here, right now. So you come to Sainsbury's, you find the vegan section, all right? Nearly every supermarket has one now. These are like veggie burgers. I don't really do the veggie burgers. If you want a veggie burger, have a veggie burger. I'm not really keen on the veggie burgers, but these, Sainsbury's Cumberland sausages, absolutely amazing. They're mushroom, they're made of mushrooms. So pretty good, pretty good. There's a bunch of other stuff, but I love the good old stock standard tofu myself. I love this type here. This tofu here, I love this one. I really, really enjoy it. You can flavor it with anything, season it up, crisp it up. Don't just eat raw tofu like I do. Make it taste good. Tofurky sausages. Um, here's one here, two, £2.50 for these. Pretty good price. The Meatless Farm. And look at these, you can always find specials, look. Look, two quid for vegetarian meatballs, two quid. What's this? Smoked hot dogs, two quid. What are these? Vegetarian sausages, two quid. Suitable for vegans, boom. And instead of eating a hacked off leg of an animal here, like try some of the, this Vivera bacon is really good. Or some of this corn vegan bacon. Be careful of corn, it's not always vegan. But you know, there's no reason to use gas chambers to, to murder baby pigs. How sick. Here's one for the meatless farm, looking good. Bit of mints. Vivera also do steaks. They're really good as a burger. I've had these, I like them. Corn, you know, corn need to step their game up and stop putting eggs and milk in their products. It's ridiculous, why? What's the point in that? Make your products vegan corn and I'll promote the living hell out of them. But they do have some good vegan products, which is good. All right, let's keep going. All right, so here we go. This is where the exploited mother's uh, breast milk is kept. They're all murdered, semi-skimmed. And if you notice, they put the little green pasture here, little cow here, little cartoon picture of a cow. They don't show the suffering of the slaughterhouse or the children being taken away from the mother. See, what's this? Fresher for longer. Fresher for longer. What do you mean fresher for longer? See how they're marketing? Milk is naturally packed full of goodness. 
yeah, well, what about the exploitation, the murder and the blood and the pus? You don't put that on there. Oh, organic, that must mean there's no, organic must mean it's ethical. No, it doesn't. Organic cows are slaughtered. Organic cows have their children taken. Organic cows are raped. Organic just means there's no pesticide. There you go, free range. Look at that, green pastures. Oh, that must be ethical. Definitely feel good. Oh, look at Graham. Oh, there's a happy cow. Look how happy this cow is. Oh, thanks, Graham. Look, there's, you know, where, where's her baby? Where's her baby? Has she gone to the slaughterhouse too? Absolute propaganda nonsense. And look at this. Look how they, um, look how they market these products to children. They don't show the children the slaughterhouse or the children being taken away and bulk under the skull if they're born a male. Look at that. Disgusting, disgusting cartoon marketing dairy to children. This is where it's at here. This is where it's at. We got oat milk, soya milk, chocolate soya milk, more chocolate soy. Look at this Alpro. What's this? Soya hazelnut, almond milk, cashew milk. Choose one. Which one do you like? Here's coconut milk. One step away, and you know, you're making a huge difference. Environmental impact and the impact on the animals. It's huge. Just one step away. Look. What's this soya? Soya drink. One pound fifteen. One pound fifteen for this soya milk. You know what I mean? And what's this? Uh, this is uh, one ten. You know, it's competitive in price, and like, it doesn't cost an animal a life of suffering and slavery and you're murdering little baby infants. Anyways, let's go find some other dairy products. Here we go, like, this is where the, look at that. Big hunk of coagulated cow's milk. And they put all these like, 1% natural Greek style. Like Greek style, it must, must be better. Must be better, like, it's, it's all marketing. All comes from the same place, exploitation and murder. But if you come over here, look, so this is all the dairy exploitation stuff. If you just walk one step over here, what, what? Oh, wow, look, I'm over here. Look, I'm over here. These are actually so affordable. These are £1.75, all right? They've got fruit ones. They've even got ones for the kids here. If you want to give them that for school. Um, this, is, this here is disgraceful. I think this is full dairy. Pepper Pig. If that ain't marketing to children, I don't know what is, but. And these ones here, these are Greek style ones. High protein, they're delicious. We have them every day nearly. Love Alpro. Alpro is actually owned by a dairy company, but they've, they're, they're dipping into the plant based market and they're realizing that, you know, they can make money from plant foods because dairy's got to become obsolete. So they're making a smart business decision and we should support it. Now, if you want to make vegan meals, they're easy as. What do you want? Italian, Mexican, Asian? Let's do it. Come down here. Look. Italian. Bolognese. You get, to make a bolognese, get a can of lentils, a pot of this, a bit of onions, a bit of seasoning, cook some pasta, put this in a pan with some lentils, boom. You got a bolognese. Get some vegan cheese to put on top. We'll go show you the vegan cheese in a minute. If you just flick, if you just grab something like this, you turn it around, look, there's no milk. Usually milk is highlighted. This here, sweet and sour, you can make sweet and sour tofu, you can make, uh, cook up some rice. A lot of them are labelled as vegan. This has fish powder, so no. Poppadoms, they got a V, I think these are fine. Poppadoms are usually okay. Here we go, pataks. These are vegan in Australia. Yeah, they're vegan here too. All it takes is five seconds to look at the back of something. You can make a curry with one of these. Boom, curry and rice, done. All the Asian flavours, sweet chilli. You can make Asian food. Coconut milk for your curry. Here, this is where we go. Burritos, boom, tortillas, salsa, beans, avocado, vegetables, wrap it up in a burrito. Hella easy. A lot of these fajita kicks, if you just look on the back, milk should pop out. I don't see, if you're unsure, like that looks pretty good to me. Firming agent, calcium chloride. There's a few things that are questionable, you might want to give them a buzz, but if you do a quick Google search, a lot of these Eldo Paso kits are vegan, quick and easy. Otherwise, tortillas, are, you just grab them. Tacos, tacos are vegan, taco shells are vegan. Boom, you can get some of that mince that we've seen in the meat, the vegan um, meat section, and you grab some of that, boom. This is where it's at. The free from range at Sainsbury's, pretty good. Pretty good vegan stuff here. 
This is a vegan lasagna, so if you don't like cooking, boom, right there. Um, not all free from stuff is vegan, so just keep that in mind. This here, cheddar style cheese, amazing. But here, our pro. You can always count on our pro. Bang. Hey, look at this. I've never seen that before. Check that out. Smoking vegan. Boom. V Via Life. They're bringing out a mature cheddar soon too. Via Life, pretty good cheese. Like, what do you think of this cheese? What do you think of Via Life? It's pretty good. There's this one as well. Daya. Then we got this. Daya mozzarella. Really easy to find. Just have a little look around. Tzatziki, they also do cream cheese as well. There's your cheese done, boom. If you don't like one, try another one. They're not all the same. Some of them don't taste very good. I like some, I don't like others. Have a little, have a little try. All right, let's keep going. Beans, leg, here, lentils, beans. Really good source of protein and fiber if you're on the health kick. You know, if you don't like all that mock meat, I understand. Try to eat healthier, fine. Over here, um, oh my God. Oh no, it's got eggs. Sometimes you're lucky and they don't put eggs in there, but they put eggs in that one. Um, here, chocolate. Pretty sure. Look at this one here. If you want to die of happiness, get this. But it's super expensive, but it's totally worth it. This is a normal stock standard chalk bar. What's this? Dairy, free from dairy, egg, gluten and nuts. That sounds vegan to me. Suitable for vegans, just chocolate. So if you go in the free from section, they've got dairy free chocolate and that. Epic. And here's your little bars, naked bars, vegan. Trek bars, they're vegan friendly. Our pro's kicking goals again. Our pro's our friend. Lentil chips. Uh huh. Our pro. Love our pro. If you just have a little quick look around, you know, you can find heaps of stuff in the supermarket. I guarantee your supermarket's not much different from this. Um, you know, you might be in a really tough situation with a really crappy supermarket, but you can always get oatmeal, fruit, um, soya milk, some maple syrup, rice, pasta, legumes. Where are you living? Are you living in Alaska in the mountains of the snowy mountains and you can't get some lentils and pasta and rice and potatoes and beans? Where are you living? Super easy to be vegan in most places on earth. Um, that's the chip section. Don't even know if we want to go down there. Do we? Not really. I don't really go down there. Oh, except if you ever get any of this, We love the love corn. This stuff here, even though it's fried in oil, good for a little treat. <laughs> These are vegan too. Look, like, I, I can't actually eat too much granola because it's so tasty. But Jordan's, you're pretty, just check this. With, when it comes to buying cereal, just check for honey. We don't want to exploit bees. So these Jordan ones are pretty good. Jordan crisp and in here. These are vegan. I've only just seen these. They look pretty good, amazing. Um, but it takes five seconds, like, let's grab this one, look at this, oh, it's got yogurt, we can't have that one, you know? Took me five seconds to realize that. Let's have a look over here on the back of this. Um, sugar, rice flour, emulsifier, wheat flakes, maple syrup flavoring, look. They're made out of plants, all right? So, just took me one second to realize that as well. Healthy stuff. I eat lots of oats. I eat so much oatmeal. It's, getting, it's crazy. But if you want to be naughty, these are vegan friendly. All right. If you don't go to the freezer section at your local supermarket, I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out on everything. Come down here. Most bread's vegan, just check for milk and eggs, but. <laughs> Pizza. As you can see here, this 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 is made from the exploited um, milk from murdered mothers. So this isn't good. Exploiting dairy cows for ice cream isn't worth it. 
Um, but over here, let's have a look here. What do we got? Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They tried to trick us. Here we go. Dairy-free halo top. Only 320 calories per tub. Magnums. Okay. Now, I don't know if in your country all of these are out yet, but we've got Canettos here. Vegan. This, plant-based. No problems there. Um, oh, my God. Swedish glass. If you... If you haven't tried these, try it. And you got someone, you got, you got a bit of cake here, here, look. Vegan cheesecake, make it rain. And of course, like, if you're in the UK, our pro will always look out for you. There we go. Even Ben and Jerry's, look, Ben and Jerry's, what's this? This is the best ice cream I've ever had in my entire life. Peanut butter and cookies Don Dairy from Ben and Jerry's. They've got other flavors there too, but if you want the best ice cream you've ever had in your entire life, this is the one. Frozen berries. Amazing, convenient, and delicious. Look what they do to the chicken. They turn it into like, object, nothing. Inanimate, scrunched up little fried bit of nothing. Just look at that. That was an animal. Goodfellas actually do a vegan one, I reckon. Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Falafel pizza. This is pretty good, actually. I tried this one. It's good. Okay. There you go. Let's go in for another little walk. I think we're pretty much done here. So there you have it. It's very easy to avoid animal exploitation in the supermarket. Just take two steps down to the next section. You can get your dairy-free stuff. Avoid the hacked up uh, dead animal corpses in the, the disgusting meat aisle. The corpse section. Stay away from that. Get, get, get your starches, your fruits, your vegetables, your legumes, your whole grains, that should be your base. Add a few vegan treats here and there. Sort your milk out, get your cereal sorted, boom. Very, very easy. Most supermarkets are like this one, but I think we'll go visit a few more and show you how to do vegan in other supermarkets. Let me know down below if you like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Love the love corn. Oh. Yeah, even this stuff here, even though it's fried in oil, good for a little treat. <laughs>